and I'm Fernando Escobar with Fab TV, sitting here with uh, Harry McQueen. Great to hey. meet you, bro. Lovely to meet you too, man. Um, Harry, um, you wrote like a total masterpiece. Uh, what was the inspiration <laughs> for writing this? It was like every line in this film is like a it's a it's a heavy line. It's deep. Oh well, thank you. That's very kind. Um, well, it's deep because it's inspired by some really deep stuff. You know, I mean, I I spent <clears throat> two or three years researching the material, researching dementia, young onset dementia specifically. And during that time, got to spend some really intense, intimate and wonderful, beautiful um, times with people who are living with this condition. And so that's the inspiration, really. The film the film is, 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 is for them, I suppose. My favorite line in the film is, can you tell it's gotten worse or it's getting worse? Mm. And, and, and Colin just can't even answer. Mm. You yeah. know, it's, such a, it's such a great line. Such a great little, I mean, lines the way you wrote it. Thanks, and I noticed man. a lot of use of mirrors in this film. Mirrors? Yeah. Quite quite a lot of mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. Is there absolutely. any significance with that? Well, I think, well, I think partly just because the way that we were trying to film it to be quite restrained and quiet and and still with the camera work, you sort of want to, you want to paint a picture or tell a story as, simply and as eloquently as possible sometimes. And oftentimes in the film that meant, you know, not moving the camera and not cutting, but allowing two people to be in the same frame at the same time, which in, in, in situations like a camper van, which is, which we didn't change at all, you're confined into that, that space. So you have to make it work for you. So it's sort of, uh, it, it, it's sort of more that, more practical reasons than anything else. Um, but yeah, you know, reflections are always, interesting cinematic devices, I think. Speaking of cinematic, uh, in the United States, we have motor homes, but you yeah. guys call them camper, camper homes? Camper vans, yeah. Camper vans. And you really, in, I've been to England like 10 times, I never saw a motor, uh, a camper van. <laughs> yeah, yeah so that, I mean. What made you shoot in a, in a camper van? Yeah, I mean, they're more, they're probably more common than, than that, but certainly like, way more common in in the united states than they are over here but still i mean people people use them quite a lot and i've been on a few camper van trips in my life and it felt like a really not only original place to set the film but a, um a kind of you know sort of important for the story i think getting this domestic drama on the road felt like um cinematically a, a, you know a really a really cool thing to try and do when you were working with uh, Colin and Stanley, what was like, uh, what were some of the things you had to tell them or to direct them? I mean, is there much to directing two superstars like that? Um, well, yes and no. I mean, they 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 they're very good on them on their own, obviously. And I think a lot of it, to be honest, like with all you know, filmmaking to a degree, a lot of it's in the script. But yeah, I mean, of course, you know, they and they were very trusting of me and my vision for the film. So I, you know, it was it was a beautiful experience to direct them um, and to have that kind of constant dialogue of collaboration. You know, it was really it was really beautiful little triangle of uh, of, of working, actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, they don't they don't need to be told how to emote for sure. But I think, you know contextualizing stuff is always handy and then you talk about how you're going to shoot it and how you're going to work as a team to bring it together so yeah i mean it's always a team effort awesome well it was beautifully shot it, it's like so cinematic with all those beautiful sceneries and the, the the camper van moving along and the shots from inside and you know locked off camera so great job and um great talking to you harry thanks thanks man